Greetings, friends. Millions of Americans that claim Social Security benefits will be getting a double payment, but many advocacy groups and lawmakers say this is not enough relief as many retirees and seniors struggle to keep up with the rising cost of living. My dear friends, I'll be going over all of these details, so please make sure that you do stay tuned until the end of this video. Also, in a video later today, I will be announcing the winners of the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you need to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. And this board, is important to my Democrat brothers and sisters who basically, the, the comment I always get, well, if we just would tax rich people more. Please buy a calculator. Read some of the documents that your own leftist economists produce because if we would compensate, com confiscate, a lot of caffeine today, confiscate next year, if we would confiscate every dime, so you make $500,000, the next dollar you make, we just take it. Government takes everything. So and you make 500000 everything up. So the guy makes a billion dollars next year. We take every dime of it. That would bring in about a trillion and a half dollars. A lot of money. This number's already wrong. Before, we were projecting a $1.7 trillion shortfall budget deficit in 2024. Now we're thinking, if this year's 2.2, what will next year's be? But, how, but take, confiscate everyone over $500,000. How many times have you heard, if we just tax the rich, we'll be fine? That's an absolute fraud. Remember, the number one driver of debt here is not Democrats, it's not Republicans, it's demographics. The one thing we're not allowed to talk about. We're not allowed to tell the truth. We made promises and we have no cash to keep them. Um, and at some point here, I'm going to set myself on fire after soaking in kerosene. We're going to talk about Social Security and how ugly the basic math is. Oh, let's actually start that right now. And, and look, some of these, uh, we put together these slides just trying to demonstrate. On this side over here, these are the taxes you've paid over your lifetime. The average couple. The average couple. The one bar here I want you to get your head around is this orange bar is Medicare. Do you see that gap? This is the benefits you receive. That gap from here to here, that right there, that's 75% of all future debt. We're not supposed to talk about this because it gets people unelected, but the fact of the matter is, unless we have a revolution in delivering the cost of health care, the 130, it may be dramatically more now, that number hasn't been updated in a while, of U.S. sovereign debt that we plan to issue over the next 30 years, 75% of it is Medicare, 25% if we cover the shortfall in Social Security. Millions of senior citizens around the country are struggling with the rising cost of living. Approximately 71 million Americans, including retirees, disabled individuals, and children, receive Social Security benefits. And though inflation seems to be easing up, higher prices still remain a problem for many. State officials say they have seen more seniors struggle and are trying to help them make ends meet. The SSA has announced benefits for older Americans will increase slightly in 2024. The exact Social Security increase is 3.2%, which means the average recipient will be receiving at least $50 more each month starting in January. According to Yahoo News, about 1 in 10 Social Security recipients are receiving a double December payment, with their second monthly check arriving today. That is because of a quirk in the system for the SSI program. SSI recipients receive their payments on the first of each month, which means the program's 7.5 million enrollees received their December payment on December 1st. But because January 1st is a holiday, SSI recipients are receiving their January check on the last weekday before the new year. 
SSI recipients will receive another bonus with their payment. That is, that their 2024 cost of living adjustment will be included in the check. The average SSI check will rise to $943 per month in 2024. That is up from $914 per month in 2023. With the increase, the average retirement benefit check will go up about $60 per month, rising to $1,907, from this year's $1,848. According to experts, in an effort to increase their incomes and remain in their homes, some Americans turn to tapping the equity they've accrued in those homes via a special form of financing, which is called the reverse mortgage. It is geared specifically towards seniors. Reverse mortgages can be a great tool, but that tool can also turn against them if it's not fully understood. A reverse mortgage is a type of home loan that allows homeowners ages 62 and older to borrow against part of their home's equity, unlike a regular mortgage in which the homeowners makes payments to the lender. With a reverse mortgage loan, the lender makes regular payments to the homeowner, hence the name reverse mortgage. The money is also tax-free. Homeowners who choose this mortgage option can continue to live in their homes, but the loan must be repaid when the borrower dies, permanently moves out, or sells their home. Reverse mortgage candidates typically own their homes free and clear. However, they may not be able to borrow the entire value of their home, even if the primary mortgage is paid off. Thousands of senior citizens in Jackson County, Missouri, will soon be eligible for a property tax break following this year's most recent assessments. The county legislature has voted to approve a tax credit, which would essentially freeze property taxes at the 2023 level for currently eligible seniors. Under the ordinance, homeowners in Jackson County who can receive Social Security and whose home has a market value are eligible for the tax credit beginning next year. Senior citizens will still have to pay their property taxes for 2023. Next year, if they are eligible for the program, retirees would see their property tax bill frozen at the 2023 level. It is something that supporters say will benefit people who are living on a fixed income. A tax break is also on the way for homeowners 55 and older in St. Joseph County, Indiana. The county council approved an ordinance limiting property tax increases to no more than 2% starting next year. The cap will last for three years. Property owners 55 and over can apply for the tax relief regardless of their income. Council members say the move is very important to help seniors who are struggling to keep up with inflation. Well, my awesome and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Dearest friends, thank you so much for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, every Friday I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter today's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearish friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.